Hello and welcome to Frank's School. There will be many braces and struts in this tiny Tudor house. I'm using the word Tudor, faux cut, but I'm using the word Tudor here because these are going to show uh, on the outside. The building will be white unless you've decided to make it some other color. It'll basically be white and all of these struts and braces are going to show. They're going to be visible. As a matter of fact, all of the struts, uh, practically in every case, if you just lifted a little bit on the end, you could slip them out, they're not even going to be fastened. Anyway, I want to give you an idea of just how many there are. The structural corner cupboards, that will require 16, except that in one corner, four of them will have to be taken out because of where the little chimney is going to go up through. So that makes 12. The joist uh, stops that go around the perimeter. Uh, the, 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 the stops for the struts that come out to support the joist, I know you, a lot of this you probably don't understand. Each corner will have uh, a one, so there's four more. The corners, uh, the, the ver vertical struts, uh, braces in the corners, uh, each corner will have two long ones that go from the, basically, well, from the plate down to the sill, and there'll be two in each corner, they'll be long, so that's eight. So we've got 24. <coughs> 24 braces that are going to show. Now the struts, there are so many. Uh, the inner joists, the, the six joists that go along the, in the inside, each one of them will have four struts supporting them. That makes 16. Uh, the the uh, outer joists, well, I'll deal with them in a minute. Uh, but then the, four, the, the inner straps is what I'm calling them, the subjoist straps. Uh, along the uh, long long way of the building, each one of them will have four. Uh, yeah, uh, th two, two on the inside and two on the outside of the building. Each one of them will have four. That's sixteen. Uh, each of the corners. Oh, oh at, at each of the corners. Now that's going to go uh, on a forty-five, a different angle. Each of the the very corner of the building. Each of them will have a strut. That's four. And the door will have two little struts in it, and the window opposite the door will have two little struts in it. They could be put in the other windows as well. Uh, and then finally, uh, the knee walls uh, at the top, which I'll tell you more about now. They're, usually you think of two knee walls going the length of the building. Well, these are going to be interrupted by a way to get out, get out access to the roof and stuff. So I'm going to call them four knee walls, short ones. And each of the knee walls is going to have three struts in it. That's how I'm going to deal with a, a wind brace. If you know anything about framing, uh, especially uh, timber framing, you, you know that wind braces are required to keep the, to keep the roof itself, uh, the rafters themselves from swaying. So that comes up with 52 struts. Uh, now each one of those struts is going to have to be stopped in some ways. Uh, you, you, the struts got to have something to keep from going that way and something to keep it from going that way. So that I've got to allow for 104 stops. I might have some of these names wrong. And if this seems so complicated, well, it isn't really. And if you think of 12 trees, trunks, each one with branches going out, but in a little grove, uh, in a way a faux cut is like a grove of 12 trees where each one represents one of those um, uh, uh, load points going down through and, and the branches would spread out and unite to hold that building up. Uh, now, you could accomplish this amount of stiffening, sort of, with four sheets of plywood. It has, say, half-inch plywood. At present cost, that would cost you about $70 a sheet, $280, just for the plywood. And all you'd have is the, is the stiffening. You wouldn't really have the load bearing there. Uh, well, that's compared to these, all these braces and struts. They're probably going to cost me about $20 in material. And since most of them are identical, they're not hard at all to build. Uh, all right, there's probably other stuff. To I'm going to soon go out, uh, in a video soon go outside and show you what's going on out there. I'm going to have to pause and, and back up a little bit to, to make sure things are level and make sure things are right before I dare to go up higher than where the joists are. Bye for now.